Since 1989, the Youth for Understanding Foundation has worked to build relationships between our two nations through international student exchanges. By developing educational partnerships among our citizens, the program provides life-changing experiences with thousands of students and strengthens international goodwill between Germany and the United States. You learn to put yourself into the shoes of others mm -hmm. and to see the world from a different perspective. And I must say, I benefited tremendously from that and I would never miss that. And I would recommend to any young person do it. Why should people go abroad? Why should people go to different schools, different countries too? What, what is it about? Knowing a country's language is knowing the country's soul. You may uh, learn all about it by facts and, and reports, but until one knows the language, one can't live in the spirit of that culture. And secondly, unless you're in another culture, you don't really understand its poetry, its drama, its politics, its history. The challenge of learning a new language and meeting new people is a great, a great challenge because you never know what comes towards you. What happened at the Swabian tribe? Okay. I found new friends, new family, new love, everything. New love. <laughs> a whole bunch of things. It was... <laughs> Just tell us, start with the love. <laughs> <laughs> well, I fell in love with the atmosphere. I fell in love with the people, the food, you know, the fast cars, the peace, and the beautiful German boys. <laughs> because of that, the young people came back and wanted to bring those young people here. And in April, Children's Aid Society is going to host an international conference, and we've raised money to bring 10 of those German children here to talk to our children in Harlem and the Bronx and Washington Heights. What was his name? Max. <laughs> was there a lady experience in Swabia? Well, not in Germany, but I love, I love, <laughs> I, I had to leave her back in New York, um, yeah. Please don't get them started. <laughs> It is a really good thing to explain to other people how it feels to live in a, complete, a completely different culture. I think that's what an exchange is about, exchanging and sharing experiences. When I got selected, I told my parents, you know, I was sleeping in a castle and they're looking at me like, yeah, whatever. And then... <laughs> Do you remember what kind of food you ate? What did you eat in Swabia? The schnitzel. Yeah. Hast du auch deutsche Popmusik gehört? Ja, so wie Javier Naido und so und Juli und all diese Leute. Can you imagine this guy, this gentleman, how he's at the age of 16 from Los Angeles, going to a strange little village in, I don't know where, in Germany. Ich fand das in der Ruhrgebiet. Ruhrgebiet? Ja. Ruhrgebiet, Ruhr area. And being perfectly in German, I mean, that's something, isn't it? Meine Lieblings ist, uh, wie heißt das? Uh, Wolfgang Petri. Oh. Wolfgang Petri? Oh, okay. uh, for all the Americans, there's a kind of mixture of Bruce Springsteen and, uh, and, um, yeah. and Heidi, yeah. Hi, <laughs> That's a good one. I 
I'd like to thank you, Atlantic Broca, um, the Princess Kira Foundation, and all of the people who have made this possible because the 16 kids that I brought, I've seen a huge difference, and this has really, really and truly changed their life. one life and we should use it for things that are important to us and we should try to make this world a better place. Mahatma Gandhi once said, be the change you want to see in this world and I think he's right.